How's it going everyone? Liam Ketterson here. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We're on Season 3, Episode number 14, I believe, uh, which is titled Bad Girls. And yeah, we're continuing this fantastic season after the last episode was a pretty interesting, uh, interestingly developed episode with a kind of a POV styled based episode for Xander and him growing his character with... Um, that with that acceptance as Cordy taunted him about you have you are pretty much expendable to the Scoobies and um yeah he was just he was just chill he liked the quiet so um it was a pretty solid episode with some interesting um with an interesting concept thrown into it and it was just pretty fun overall so yeah well, this is episode number 14 for season 3 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer let's go One. Yeah, skip the two. Ow. No, not Mr. Point. Is that Mr. Pointy? Because if so, you're buying the new one. Tell me, Circus. Well, like Marmaduke. Oh, ugh. he's always on the furniture. Unsanitary. Nobody can tell Marmaduke <laughs> what to do. That's my kind of dog. Yeah. I like to read Kathy. <laughs> like, nobody so, gives a shit what, what you think, dude. Swords, what, what should we do about that? Well, let's just keep an eye out. We've got the dedication coming. Pronounce. Is anyone else intimidated? Because I'm just expecting thin slips of paper with the words, no way. Has he dyed his hair? They're typing those Oz, notes. what the, are you I'm doing? So I, I, I got in. Into actual colleges, and, and, and they're wooing me. They're pitching woo. The woo! Always fun. <sighs> but it's weird. No rejection, I can handle because of the years of training, but this... I feel your pain, Will. Aww. Like, right? Hello. New Watcher? New Watcher. Wesley Wyndham Price. Wesley. Woo-hoo! It's very nice to meet you. Wow! Is he evil? Evil? The last one was evil. Oh, yes. And you look handsome, so you can't be around here for too long, no, surely. Checked my deadly in their day. Their numbers dwindled in later centuries due to an increase in anti-vampire activity. And a lot you got Giles on the ball. They eventually became the acolytes of a demon called Balthazar, who brought Balthazar. them to the new world, specifically here. You seem to know a lot about them. I didn't get this job because of my looks. I really, really believe that. <laughs> Whenever Giles sends me on a mission, he always says, please. And afterwards, I get a cookie. <laughs> he even smirks Giles. I love it. I love this relationship. Ah, this is perhaps Faith. New Watcher? New, New Watcher. Watcher. Screw that. <laughs> now, why didn't I just say that? It's to me. He's practically a mini me version of Giles. I know this new guy's a dork, but it's Walmart Giles. I Except I would buy him. My mission scenario has her back in one minute. Shouldn't be any trouble. Is it like I'm in this conflict where I do sense Giles, like I do understand Giles' willingness to kill him, but I love him. Shit, 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 no, no. Buffy. I hate it when they drown me. <laughs> I had to lather, rinse, and repeat about five million times to get the sewer out of my hair, but otherwise I'm <laughs> off the good. Thank you for asking. Perhaps Ooh. there are a few more than we'd anticipated, but I'd expect Glad. you to be for anything. Remember the three key words for any slayer. Preparation, preparation, preparation. That's one That's word. That's one word three times. Exactly. <laughs> All the more reason for you to remember it, I so guess. Sad that I'm you have one hour. She can write coded messages, though. Okay, okay, so the best part? Buffy. Test. You know, remember the thing you didn't come over to study for? Right. <laughs> Wait, 
where's the teacher in all of this? Wait, where's the teacher in all of this? You can't, can you? That's badass! That was badass. That was badass. That could be cr crashing through with some lights. Yeah. Damn, she's really being an influence on her. I mean it. <laughs> Let me tell you what I see. I see fear. Oh! Vincent. Oh my god, he reminds me of the Absorbaloft from Doctor Who. Closer. Is that what he did to to that guy? No. Closer. I'm getting it. I love this. I shouldn't, but I do. Oh shit! Drop the weapons and get down on the ground. Now! the world in jail. I mean, that's true. Oh my god, this is where she starts becoming a bad influence. Of America, those little guys. Seeing the hope and courage on their bright little faces, I swear I could just, I, I could just eat them up. <laughs> so, any news about the... No! Illuminati? Don't! <laughs> yep! Oh, Stop. shit! Good on trick. Good. I you, can't believe I'm saying that. What hell is gonna be using swords? Wait, I, I've done this sort of thing before, like a million times, and I can totally handle myself. Besides, no. minty fresh protection. So. Maybe they're like right. lavender. Stupid. It's not. Why, tonight? It's not. I just want to get this done. But you can keep your snide remarks to yourself, and while you're at it, don't criticize my methods. The fact is, you're no longer qualified to act as Watcher. We all have our different ways of handling Not things. The council, the council can well. piss off. It's simply time for somebody else to take the field. Now's a good time to start. Just watch, he's gonna butcher this complete... Ah, shh. Hey, no! Isn't that Alan? Oh, Faith, what the sh... I didn't... I didn't... Too late. Too late. She's killed a human. To... Oh, my God. Stay calm, Mr. Charles. We stay, stay calm. calm. Oh, my God, you're here. I was planning to panic. <laughs> what is that thing? Be your demon, you know, the dead one. No need to get snippy. Bring <laughs> closer. You know what I want. If it's for me to scrub those hard to reach areas, I'd like to request you kill me now. Oh, Giles! I love you! The man who has my amulet! What is his name? His name is Angel. Oh shit! Angel in the game face as well! Badass! What Giles! Holy shit! Holy shit! Toss him with Balthazar! Uh-uh. No, Angel! Angel! Uh. Ooh! Gruesome!
love a good cryptic message. Oh my god! He's so shook of. Well. Become invincible. Oh my. And heck. This official. Hey, please don't shut me out here. Like sooner or later, we're both gonna have to deal. Wrong. We can help each other. I don't need it. You do though. You yeah. just killed a guy. He's wrong now. I don't get it. You killed a man. No, you don't get it. I don't care. Oh, no, no, no. Fa well, this is great. Great. So, she's now going on the dark path, which is great. We've got a slayer who's... Just watch. You know what? Maya's going to be dealt with. It's going to inevitably spiral down to the Slayer of Good with the Slayer of Darkness, all that jazz. Yeah, I was wondering what she was going to do with the body. Because she looked like she was going to reach its heart area. And then we cut to Buffy, Angel and Co. Giles with a sword, though. Um, defeating Balthazar and... Uh, his group, so yeah. May is now invincible. I, I just love him. I just love him so much. But Balthazar was a very, very interesting villain as well. Um. So yeah, he did. He did remind me, like, uh, facially with the uh, Absorbaloff, because it kind of does look reminiscent to his, um, to his face. So yeah, but um. And then, he, and then he needed moisturizing, so that was Cassandra in the mix as well. So he's basically Cassandra the Absorbaloft. Um, and, and I'm not going to lie, when he uh, got those, um, like, those fa failed um, people, like, those who failed to get him the amulet, I thought he was actually going to absorb them as well, like the Absorbaloft. Uh, if you haven't watched it, uh, if you haven't, if you don't know the references, should I say, it's from a Doctor Who episode, probably one of the uh, worst Doctor Who episodes ever. Um, but yeah, he just, he just, yeah, he was just a very, very uh, interesting uh, villain because he was pretty immobile, um, and yet he held so much power as well. So. Um, yeah, he, he, he was pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, not just that, though, but his aggression, um, like the tone of his, uh, the tone of his voice and how aggressive he was. It was pretty, pretty like um, it was a pretty fun um, characterization, I guess, uh, uh, Balthazar. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, this was this was this was a really, really uh, fun episode. I'm just worried with Fa for Faith now because she doesn't care. Yeah, try saying that when you've got a permanent record. Oy. Oh boy, I'm really excited to see how the next episode does play out because on the main menu it says like the next episode's consequences. I wonder what that's going to be about. Um, Yeah, this was a pretty super episode. I thought that... The focus on Buffy and Faith, uh, Faith's dynamic, as well as um, the responsibility of the Slayer life, uh, was touched up upon really, really beautifully. Wesley's introduction, brilliant. I, and I, I can't wait to see more of him. I did have a hot second to contemplate the possibility of him dying first, and then Buffy coming to Giles's aid. You know what? Giles really should have said to to Balthazar's um, peeps, I'm not a watcher anymore. I will even call the council and say and and give you proof. Um, but no, um, it was really really um good to have Wesley's introduction. I just loved his character from the get go, and not just not just because of um his his appearance, like oof, um. But he's also pretty, pretty, like, dorky. Like, he tries to enforce authority. It does, just doesn't go anywhere. Um, 
And I think his introduction uh, and Buffy's reception makes you really think about how much Giles has grown as a character and how much that relationship between uh, Buffy and Giles has grown so much. Yeah, I really loved the dorkiness of ja- of um, Wesley, should I say. I like how he tried to negotiate and he wanted to keep his kneecaps. And yeah, I mean, to be fair, though, the guy's only comforted, what, two vampires, didn't he say? Um, so yeah, he's not quite there when it co- uh, comes to handling the nerves in, <laughs> in, uh, in dire situations. I just love that comment, though. Like, don't panic uh, to, to Giles as he was like, panicking for his life um but i think whilst he's gonna be the new watcher which is a good new good news because yay um i think that him learning the guy uh, like under the guidance of giles would benefit him more because he doesn't have everything sorted out i mean he assumed baltazar was was done and dusted and yet he still lived so yeah he doesn't have everything sorted out and he could learn a few um lessons from Giles so I think this dynamic of whilst Giles is like the experienced guy and uh he's no longer a watcher he could pass down a few lessons to the new watcher and yeah so I think I think that would benefit Wesley so much um and I gotta say though I think I I think with Wesley's arrival it it just had Giles in full sass mode because he—it's not like he was only sassing Wesley, but he even sassed Balthazar with um, uh, the scrubbing the grease folds comment. Yeah, um, my God, uh, I do have to say, like Balthazar was a very, very interesting character. Like I said, um, just after the episode ended, he, he like just his temperament and attitude to his, I guess, lackeys was very very um it was very very uh fun um but yeah like i said his face just gave me remnants of um love and monsters so yeah um but i thought he it, there it was a very very interesting um way especially with the fact that he did give a prophecy to well didn't give a prophecy to to buffy but gave her a warning but like it was a very interesting way with how um the villain was utilized cuz like i said he was he, he couldn't move but he was still powerful and how buffy ended uh baltazar was uh, was very very shocking um no, but it was a very, very um, finely done execution. Um, yeah, I thought this was a good episode focusing on the relationship of Buffy and Faith because, and I hate to say this because I do low key ship them, but they had that sisterly relationship. Like Faith was the older sibling and um, was teaching Buffy a few tricks and influencing her, and you saw how immersed Buffy became in in Faith's life, especially. Uh, at the bronze um yeah it was a very very um it was very very great to have this story uh to have buffy push to faith's lifestyle uh because the, like even before like even before this episode there was clear di- there's clear differences between the two slay- slayers and um yeah you just saw Buffy take a take a, a, a walk in in Faith's shoes and it was really really um it was really great but yeah I I just I just loved some of the scenes like um them crashing on the cult uh, on on the not cults the um the lackeys place allowing the sunlight to kill on fantastic fashion um but yeah it was very very interesting to have this plot be part of the theme as well as the responsibilities of being a slayer um but yeah um there have been doubts from buffy like from from the first episode i think it was as well um there's been doubts from her about faith's choice of lifestyle uh so her coming to slowly understand it was um was really really i think it was necessary for buffy because with the inclusion of a new watcher, uh, this was like her. It, I think it kind of reminded me of season one episodes when Giles was putting that pressure on on um, Buffy, and she needed that release. Um, 
same with this new watcher like uh, a new watcher shows up and she doesn't like um him it's like it, it's like taxing on the mind and then she saw how faith handled the situation and even buffy said why didn't i do that so that was planting the seeds to to buffy learning a few tricks from from faith so i really um liked that inclusion but i also liked how um there was a similarity in from the previous episode with um with the alarm bells of consequence consequence uh, ringing in buffy's head with that police incident um and how yeah like i said how that's similar to the last episode where xander was teaming with jack and there was a need to get out of this sticky situation but he couldn't remove himself at certain times until uh, there was a, there was a line that he could not draw. Same with Buffy when uh, Faith killed Alan. Um, that was the line for Buffy. So there was a small similarity to the last episode where Xander was in an unusual environment and was trying to immerse himself in that environment. But he realised, okay, well, this is a bit out of my league, but um, I'll have to try and um, see if um, things will get better. And if it doesn't, uh, if there's a worse event that comes, that's the line in the sand for me. So, yeah. And the line was, of course, for for uh, for Xander in the last episode was the bomb, wasn't it? So, yeah. Um, but poor Alan, though. Um, I think he was scared of the mayor, but uh, I think he also, yeah, I think him arriving at the hideout was him trying to find Buffy and Faith and warning them um somehow but he but he sadly got cr- caught in a crossfire so yeah um I also thought this was a good reflection as well from from Ted because we have to remember Buffy for Buffy was in a similar predicament um once upon a time before uh, and thankfully Ted wasn't actually dead. He, um, yeah, um, he was just a robot. So yeah, uh, but still, the the idea of killing an innocent life um, presented itself in a big way in this episode, um, and that this is where the differences are because even hours after the event, um. Buffy was was traumatized. She was like not even that days even. Uh, it ate her up, and uh, she she felt lost. She felt like she had uh, royally screwed up. Um, but Faith has a bit more adrenaline, and she's pretty much uncontrollable compared to Buffy. And while she had that initial remorse on killing Alan, who she is denies what she has done, and she pretends to act as. Uh, as if nothing's happened so that's frightening and i think that's the line you have uh that that's where the line is drawn between buffy and faith because faith instantly tried to mask what she did hours after the event whereas buffy days even after the event she was still reeling from what she had done and she was beating herself up about it so um I think that's a really, really good uh, point to show that difference between Buffy and Faith. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think this was really, really good at showcasing the differences between um, Buffy and, and Faith. Loved the callback to Prophecy Girl. Even Buffy made a reference to that um, where she drowned. Uh, I'm not going to lie. My heart did panic a bit because... Well, Faith was a bit restrained, and we've been down this rodeo before, so uh, yeah, deja vu, not in the best of senses as well. Um, the mayor as well, he's just, well, he's now become invincible, so good for him. Um, but he's so fascinating. I really, really love his character so much, and I love the authenticity of his good heart because it's not like he talked shit about the kids, like um, in that brief scene, and he didn't lecture Alan too much about the lack of security. Um, I think he did plant. Yeah, I think the um, scene was implying that Alan did plant that vampire there, but um, he didn't lecture. But whilst the mayor was oblivious he didn't lecture alan too much so yeah he's got a really really good heart he's just he's just not good news so 
his character is absolutely fascinating, and I just love the mayor so much. But um, yeah, this was a really, really good episode. Um, yeah, I just just loved the um interactions with Faith and and Buffy. I really, really needed this. It's just, it just sucks that we're at this crossroads again because um, when. It, funnily enough, it's when a new watcher arrives. That's when it, uh, it becomes testing times, isn't it? Because uh, I was going to say, uh, Buffy and Faith had a great relationship, and they were a, a bit of a crossfire when uh, with the incident with Miss Post. Um, and then they patched things up again, as evidence with this episode as, uh, again. Um, and now there's conflicting there's conflicting minds going on with uh, buffy not happy with the fact that faith is tr- is sugarcoating this incident so yeah um but I, it should be very very interesting to see what happens next episode especially with the episode being titled consequences so yeah it's not looking good for faithy is it so yeah but it was a stellar episode loved it so yeah i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you're checking the videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles